My name is Lauren Harmon. I'm the Women's Caucus Director for the Ohio Democratic Party. Yes! And I am, so, I am so proud to be standing at this podium today, not only with our speakers that you'll hear from in a minute, but with all of these women who are here today because we are outraged. outraged. The Republicans, both nationally and right here in Ohio, continue to use women's health care as nothing more than a political football to score cheap shots against President Barack Obama. But we're not just here because we're mad. We're here because we are standing up for President Obama because he's standing up for women. Covering contraception as preventive care is going to change women's lives, saving women up to $18,000 over their lifetimes. It's the right thing to do. And I know I speak for all of us here on the stage today when I say that we will work tirelessly and relentlessly this year to make sure that women in Ohio know who's fighting for them. With that, I'd like to introduce State Representative Nancy Garland who sits on the House Health and Aging Committee and is also the chair of the Ohio House Democratic Women's Caucus. Yes! I don't know when I have been more fired up about an issue. And I mean, I have to say to you, can you believe it? No, right. No, no. Can, you, can no. you believe that we had somebody yesterday say that we should go to the way they did the old days with an aspirin between your legs? Can you believe they said that? Can you believe they had a, a hearing on this issue in Congress yesterday and not one woman was on the panel? Can you believe that? I, I, it, to me, again, I don't know when I've ever been quite as fired up as I am today. We're <laughs> angry. <laughs> yes. But Bottom line, as Lauren just said, and I am the president of the Ohio House Democratic um, Women's Caucus, and these issues are very important to us, enough is enough. Yes. We yes. are. Yes. We are sick and tired of women's health being the political football for this presidential election. And I sit on the health committee, and it's on Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock, and I don't sleep on Tuesday night because I know that we're going to have at least one or two bills every Wednesday that are going to relate to curbing the rights of women's health. It is unbelievable. The latest thing that we did on um, this Wednesday was we're not going to allow phys physicians' assistants to use IUDs to insert, I, excuse me, I thought IUDs were supposed to prevent pregnancy. I thought that we actually were trying to prevent the need for abortions. So what is this really about? It's a total contradiction of what they are saying. It's immoral. 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 We need to stop this. This is all, and it, it means every one of us in this room have got to go out there to talk to their friends, to their neighbors, because this is just a total attack on, on women's rights. And I, I would like also to, to point out, we actually have a, a candidate here, uh, beside myself, that is, that is endorsed by Emily's List, and that's what we need. We need women out there fighting on our behalf, which Heather, Heather Bischoff did this back in the back, because, again, if we don't fight for us, nobody else is, because we know, and we have lots of supportive men here, but it is the, the men that are out there making decisions about our bodies. So, again, enough is enough. 